Hello everyone, welcome to TOC playlist. In this video, we'll be discussing the important questions module wise for theory of computation subject or subject code BCS 503. If you're new to my channel, do check out the TOC playlist. The link is available here. I have uploaded nearly 44 to 45 videos of TOC subject, which comprises of all the theory topics, all the numericals, everything. So right from previous year papers and, um, and very important questions from exam perspective have been covered here. Most of the questions of your model paper are, are also covered here. Do check it out. And let's look into the questions one by one. So I'll also tell about the modules which you can cover to get passing package, guys. So stay tuned till the end and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First module is very easy. First module has only two parts. So the first part is all about conversion from NFA to DFA and obtaining the DFA and all of that. So these are the basic theory questions which they can ask. Defining the terms alphabet, power of an alphabet, string, concatenation, and we have language, what is a symbol, all these things are, they can ask for 10 marks and there will be 5 to 6 terms which we have to define. Then we have differences between DFA, NFA and Epsilon NFA. So this is again a 10 mark question. So they can, we can, they'll ask us to draw a table and uh, explain. So even this could be for 10 marks. Next we have the applications of TOC. Applications of TOC could be of 3 marks or 5 marks. Very simple. Do check out the notes. I have written it down properly and everything is available there. And yeah, this is the main question. So designing a DFA or DFSM to accept each of the following languages. So nearly there are 15 languages. So in exam, if they are asking any question, it will be among this 15 only. Because these questions have been curated by comparing the previous year paper, model papers and the internal papers. So cover all these questions you'll be all done with uh, this part, okay? So they can ask two or three questions together and it will be for 10 marks. So all these, most of the answers for these questions are available in the playlist. Do check that out. Next we have define NFA and conversion of NFA to equivalent DFA. So conversion from NFA to DFA using subset construction method. Yeah, this is again a very easy topic. Next we have um, construct an equivalent DFA from a given NFA using such uh, Subset construction, again an easy topic. Ne uh, construct a minimum state automation equivalent to finite automata given table. So again, this is also a very easy question. So this is from the second module actually. So I would say first module is pretty easy guys. It's all about uh, uh, designing the DFA and then conversion of NFA to DFA and then the basic question. So if you cover this, you'll be uh, thorough with the first module. You'll get 20 marks for sure. Next, moving on to second module. Second model is slightly trickier because uh, there are uh, regular expression construction questions here. So what are regular expressions? You have to obtain regular expression to, uh, there, there, are, there could be certain questions to design a regular expression or write a regular expression for a given condition. Strings of A's and B's whose second symbol is from the right end is A, then we have obtained regular expression to accept words with two or more letters but beginning of ending with same letter where A, B are inputs. So for all these questions, no, do check out my regular expression video where I have covered most of these questions, so most of the regular expression questions in just one video. So don't miss that out. Next we have NFA which accepts again construction of NFA here also for NFA for regular expression. Next we have the most important thing that is pumping lemma. Pumping lemma theorem is asked for 10 marks and along with that even the closure properties could also be asked. So depending on these two things, further there could be questions asked which we have to look. Okay, so prove that every regular expression there is equivalent finite state automation. Again, this is the same question which we have twisted. Okay, and then we have show it is not regular. Yeah, and then um, union, regular expressions are not closed under union, concatenation and clean closure. So again, a very easy topic in intersection and difference again. Then we have table filling algorithm. So table filling algorithm, I've tried covering nearly three or four questions. Do check that out guys, because if they ask table filling algorithm, questions would be from there itself. Okay, so first module is very easy. Second module again is very easy. So don't miss these out. Uh, these are very simple topics. You can easily score marks. If you, even if you solve two, three questions, you will understand the pattern and thereby, even if there is any change in the question, you'll be able to do it then and there accordingly and get marks. And next, next let's look into the third module. So third module is, again, it has limited topics like first 
we have cfg construction uh, context free grammar and constructing a cfg for given condition do check out the uh, youtube uh, playlist i've tried uploading for all these questions then obtaining a grammar to generate uh, a language again cfg construction of uh, cfg then define leftmost derivation rightmost derivation and parse tree again there's a video which has in which i have explained all these three topics with examples so don't miss that out then we have what is ambiguous grammar prove that given grammar is ambiguous again a very easy topic then we have conversion of ambiguous to unambiguous again check out the questions guys because all these are standard topics and there are standard questions also for example if you see this question they have asked us to get the derivation for the given expression again very simple do check out the video i have solved this then we have construction of lmd and rmd so guys this is a very very simple question uh, you can just solve it in 2 minutes do check out the video very easy next we have uh, designing a pda for accepting a palindrome so if you talk about pda there are two methods first is empty stack method and then we have final state method so whichever is taught in your college or whichever you feel is comfortable do opt for that i have uploaded both the techniques both the methods and there are standard five questions which are asked for pda do check out the playlist where i have discussed all these topics in detail yeah this is all about third module guys third module is also very simple so we have uh, cfg firstly cfg topic is there and then we have lmd rmd leftmost derivation rightmost derivation and parse tree construction then we have this a pda construction so again very easy next fourth module we have uh, about cnf pumping lemma of cnf closure property of cng uh, or uh, context free language so first is we have a pumping lemma for context free languages and closure properties of context free languages so these two things could be asked separately so i have clubbed all both these because they are, they are theory topics right so the question could be like show that cfl is not uh, closed under the union concatenation and star and uh, complementation so again uh, a theory topic do check out the notes then we have pumping lemma based questions for example find out whether this is context free or not given language is context free or not so again this is just an example do check out the notes fourth model notes have been detailedly available in the description and do check out the videos also because i have tried explaining all these properly next we have normal to normal forms of context free grammars that is simplification of grammar that is removal of useless symbols epsilon unit productions all these topics have been covered in notes do check that out next we have is cfg to cnf conversions so this is one question and here also we have one question and then elimination of left recursion even for left recursion also we have standard uh, 3 to 4 questions 3 to 4 topics or uh, 3 to 4 uh, pattern of topics don't miss that out check out that video so fourth module is slightly trickier or difficult compared to the other modules i would say so 1 2 3 are your passing package don't miss that out study well moving on to fifth module so fifth module can be of 10 marks out of that 10 marks a uh, fifth module can be of 20 marks out of the 10 marks you will have turing machine or uh, designing so that is 10 marks pakka you will get and the rest 10 marks could be theory questions theory what can they ask they can ask the turing machine definition how is it represented what is the turing machine model and what are the components of turing machine model so there could be four questions derived from this one question okay so don't miss this out guys next what are the techniques for turing machine construction again a important topic next we have model of linear bound automata lba with neat diagram then we have what are the variants of turing machine so there are four variants all these four variants could be asked for 5 5 marks okay or only any two could be asked for 5 5 marks or they can say explain any two variants of turing machine with neat diagram so out of these four you can explain any two next what are the applications of turing machine a three mark question then short note on undecided undecidability a language that is not recursively enumerable very very important topic this was there in previous year paper also next we have recursively and uh, recursive and recursively enumerable language again a theory topic do check that out in the notes and then we have the church turing machine with neat diagram and uh, multiple turing machine with neat diagram again uh, very uh, theory topics all these are so you just have to study there's no other go for this looking at the uh, turing machine questions so here we have specified two questions designing a turing machine for the given language and here we have for the same again there's one more language and then strings are given we should check if the string is accepted or not so out of these two questions here and four questions here 
if they ask turing machine question it will be from these six questions only and do check out the playlist i have tried covering that i have covered the turing machine questions also so i have i i have tried covering three turing machine question problems so do check that out and the rest of the questions would be same pattern so this was about the fifth module guys i would say that if you want to uh, score well if you want to get 60 plus then don't miss out first module second module and third module and after that do check out the fifth module because 10 marks for sure you can get from turing machine and other 10 marks would be from theory question so don't miss that out and next fourth module is slightly trickier but then don't uh, miss the cnf pumping lemma problems closure properties and all of that don't miss that out guys ts toc is one such subject where the questions are repeated every year because be the prescribed textbook or any other textbook questions are limited there so they can't invent new questions because it will be difficult for the students to solve right so that way there would be little uh, variations but not huge variation so do check out the playlist i have tried covering all the important questions here all the important topics here and if you got any doubts any questions do let me know in the comments and the notes are also available in the description for each and every module make use of that prepare well well for the exam i know